Louisiana Beer Reviews People's Porter from Foothill Brewery. Eight o'clock in the morning here. 5.8% alcohol, 40 net, 42 international bitterness units. Uh, they have a guy holding his right hand up, with the, uh, look, admiring the beer, and he's they're trying to mimic like a, a communist type poster, I'll say like uh, from the Soviet Union, 1964 sort of thing. Uh, I see a lot of beer companies use a communist iconography on their labels and names. It's fashionable or cute to uh, do that. Uh, I'm waiting to see if they have any national socialist um, type things with any beer companies, if that would come across cute and clever, like if they have like SS Viking um, Stout or uh, or um, like uh, Ein Einsatzgruppen uh, Schwartz beer or something like that. But anyway, um, if we're going to do totalitarian um, theme thematics. I bought this at uh, Red White and Brew and I had a little issue with it because I brought it up to the counter and the girl was like, oh, you can't buy this. The owner wants it. Somebody gave it to him and he wants to drink it. I had four of them like that. I said, well, they were in the cooler with tags. Oh, uh, you could buy two of them then. It made no sense, but I, mean, I said two is better than none. It's $1.95 for this. I don't know what it should be. This company was established in 2004. I've been to North Carolina quite a few times and I always liked it. This is in the foothills, the Piedmont area. It gets a very good score on Beer Advocate, but on Rapier they're saying 96 out of 100 and 97 out of 100 for the style. So super high, they're saying almost, you know, they're saying A plus, whereas Beer Advocate's saying B plus. Well, Let's see. I never even had. Ooh, there's a lot of cake stuff at the bottom. I had never heard of this thing until I saw it in that cooler. I don't think this is actually sold in Louisiana, neither the duck rabbit stout that I had yesterday. I just think the guy was given the beers by somebody, and then the sales girl at the counter just sold the beers without him knowing it and he's gonna come in and say where's my two beers and she'll say I sold them but only half of them <laughs> um, wow that cake stuff is not coming through it's a thin beige head and a dark brown appearance you can tell it's brown but it looks black probably on camera I see some little brown highlights along the edges it's cloudy today but it's gonna be about 75 so I'm not complaining And they're having so many Mardi Gras parades starting today. Carnival parades starting at 1045. And then all, all day long, nightcap be an endymion, the big one, for Saturday. Okay, so let's go with the aroma. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go Sunday, though. I, don't, I got basketball today. College basketball. There's a date on there, but it makes no sense. That's rich, man. Rich barley malt. They're talking about chocolate and caramel notes. I'm not picking that up. I'm picking like vegetable notes, though. Like celery. You, if you drink enough porters and stout porters, you'll pick up sometimes vegetable. It's definitely celery or... Uh, artichoke I'm not sure um, some kind of thistle type plant which I'm not and that's a soapy head I'm not so sure that's what they're aiming for let's go with the so the aroma is sort of a mm, little bit off dark roasted barley malt uh, a little sweetness and that celery, the thistle thing, 
Well, I never had thistle. My daddy said they used to go buy, they used to go cut them down and eat them. But uh, you get big ones around here. And he said it was similar to celery. Uh, maybe an artichoke. Um, not the artichoke heart, but if you do eat some of the artichoke stalk, if you boil them and you eat some of the stalk, it has some of that. Or celery, yeah. The mouth feels pretty light and watery. I'll say light to medium. There's a little slickness on it. And the finish is mostly dry. Drinkability is okay. Um, no alcohol showing up. Um, these little breweries like this, the consistency standards are not are questionable, right? So. I might drink 10 of these made 10 different months and they taste 10 different ways. Whereas last night we were doing Michelob Ultra, me and uh, New England beer reviews. And yeah, that's very dull and more or less flavorless by design. But if you get a thousand different Michelob Ultras from a thousand different stores, bottle or can, or on draft, they're going to all taste the same. Yeah, this is okay, uh, but I'm not really into the drinking the celery juice type situation. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna give it. I'll say I'll be generous, <laughs> and I'll say B minus. It's marginally good. It's marginally good. If you see it, try it because yours might be outstanding depending on which batch it came from. So I'll say it's a marginally good beer, at least this sample. And um, like a coach of a kind of a bad team says, it is what it is. <laughs> and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans and go to some carnival parades.